What's going on everybody, it's Mr. Joe Briggs here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can install applications onto your iDevice for free without a jailbreak. This, this is going to be compatible with iOS 7 and iOS 8. So to show you guys, I do not have a jailbreak as you guys can see, no Cydia at all. And like I said just a second ago, this is going to be compatible for iOS 7 and iOS 8 only. So if I go to my settings, you guys can see I am currently currently on iOS 7.1.2. So yeah. So the first step that you guys are going to want to do is you guys are actually going to want to go into Safari. You guys are going to want to go in like to your search tab. You guys are going to want to type in tongueboo.com. That's it exactly right there. You guys are then just going to want to type that in and click search. And you guys should be then led here. You guys are then going to want to click the blue button. You guys have to wait three seconds. Just wait for those three seconds. Click the blue button again. Click install. And you guys should see that the application will then begin to install. It should look like as if you were going to download an application from the App Store. Um, this application does take a bit of time to download. Um, sometimes it will be fast. Sometimes it will be short. It just depends on your uh, internet connection. Um... But yeah, so this is a very simple process. Just download this application, and you guys should then be able to um, go into the next step. So once your application has been downloaded, you guys are then going to want to open it up. And you guys have like a setup menu. This is in Chinese or some type of other language besides English. So uh, just go through this initial setup. Swipe through it all. Click the blue button. A pop-up will come up. Click the blue button again. This is like an updated one. Then click Install. And we're, we're going to have to do, do the same exact process as we just did it previously. Um, so we can continue to do that. So as you guys can see, I am making progress. I, I did skip this because I know it can get boring and I don't want to waste your guys' time. But you guys can see the application is installing. And once it is officially done, you guys are then going to want to open it up again. You guys will have your same exact setup. Just go through that, click the blue button. And here we are. This is basically like your app store, to, of course, in another language. And uh, what, what you guys are then going to want to do is just click the search button. And you guys are going to want to find the application that you guys want. So I'm just going to download this application here. It's in Chinese. But um, you guys are then just going to click the uh, button. You guys can see you guys will get a notification. And here we are with our progress. You guys can see you have the amount of kilobytes on the left and the estimated time on the right. You also have... Um, how much the application, like the megabytes, the application is in the top right hand corner. So once it is done, all you guys want to do is just click on it. Oh my bad, you guys want to click on that green, like lightning bolt. You guys will then get, get like a little pop up. Anytime, let me click it again. Hold on. It's not working, sorry. Okay, there we go. You guys can see you guys will get like a little black pop-up. That means your application has installed, and you guys can see it's actually opening and working. And this is only if you guys get lucky. If the application happens to crash, you guys are then going to want to go onto your computer, and you guys are going to you guys are then going to want to type in this website. So um, this will also be down in the description. It's tongueboo.com slash, and then some random letters. But once you guys are here on this website, you guys are then going to want to actually install Tongueboo for your computer. Just swipe over and go and click that green uh, download button. If you guys are on Mac, you guys are then going to want to click the Mac one, of course. But for me, I'm on Windows, so just cl click the green button. Once you guys have downloaded it, you guys are then going to want to open it up. Um, at the time of the recording of this video, my USB cord was not working correctly, so I couldn't show you guys uh, how to fix the crash. But it's very easy. It's pretty. Co it's um, common sense. Um, here's a picture on the website of what, we, what you guys want to click. You guys are then just going to want to click that little uh, wrench or that toolbar, whatever my mouse is right under. Um, and that's it. It's a very simple process. It's not hard at all. Give me guys feedback um, of what you guys thought. If you guys want more videos like this, I do know that you guys did want another updated video because I last time I did a video like this, it was a while ago. But um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.